since they say he started the fire knowing full well that a family was inside. Well, City of Atlanta employees say they are tired of not being heard. They say they want higher pay, and now they've come up with a way to have their message heard. Put it on a billboard. It is a drastic measure, and that's exactly what we want city council to see. For eight years, Kelly Ulis has been married to an Atlanta police sergeant, and she says for years the city has overlooked her husband and other city employees when it comes to increasing pay. Who do you call when you've been in an accident? You call 911. You don't call your city councilman when that happens. Or your mayor, you call 911. So their budget needs to be that way. Starting this Sunday, she says, you will see that message loud and clear. More than 50 city employees and supporters have pitched in to buy a billboard. They're modeling it after this one erected by Memphis police with the same strong message. Atlanta city officials do not support public safety. Drivers will see the billboard on the northbound connector near University Avenue. I mean, there's an old saying in politics, the squeaky wheel. Gets the grease. Thursday night, City Council had a public budget meeting to get input on how money should be spent. Council member Michael Julian Bond says it is still early in the budget process, but he predicts at least a 1 to 2 percent increase in city worker pay. The question is where the city would get that money. It is needed. But again, we have to go back and look and say, do you take it out of public works? Do you take it out of uh, this department or that department? Now, both the fire and city police, both the fire and police unions are supporting this billboard. And the following week, there will be two more billboards erected in different locations around the city. They're also planning a rally at City Hall for next Friday. Lane Alexander, 11 Alive News.